Good morning, and the best market automation software is, Brett? Market automation is overrated. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get it out of the way. Yes, I title it that because this <laughs> is something that I see as a topic all the time coming up in the different forums and the different MSP and IT business forums. And I, I literally seen someone and I answered their question. I was sharing this with Brett. They, they said, how do I unstick someone who's trying to make a decision from two months ago when I met with them and they have their what do they call those drip campaigns yep. and the uh, whatever click funnel garbage that people do. I ignore those. Like people, I, I can tell very much. So when someone has put me on their automated list, they usually end up in my spam box at that point, because I don't, if you didn't take the time to personalize a message to me, I don't care. It's as simple as that, whether Agreed. it's on LinkedIn, whether it's on that. And I, you know, we're, I've ranted before about market automation being way oversold and the people selling it to you are telling you it's the best thing, but they're also the ones selling you the automation from anything I've seen. And this is just a <laughs> series of discussions. As I said, it it's just not hyped. It's just all hype is the best way to describe it. I rarely see people and there's going to be a bunch of comments on, well, but I found the perfect software just signing up for it. It's 29 Good for you. And, yeah. <laughs> um, it'll, it'll create these perfect marketing campaigns for you and everything else. And everyone thinks automation is where it's at for doing something like this. And honestly, this is literally as simple as it was. So this person had this person in the, they met with them. They had the contract set up in the market automation tool they were using where it automatically sent emails. And they said, I feel like the client's stuck. I haven't heard back from in two months, but they're reading my messages. I'm like, yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I'm like, well, it's really simple. You had a meeting with them. Hopefully you asked, what are the problems you're facing? What sucked? What right. didn't work? And then you took that as a list. And that's where you follow up, make a personal email to them or reach out, call them. Hey, uh, you don't want to talk to you last month. Uh, this was not so great, right? You were having problems getting this. And specifically what he had said was they were having trouble with the previous IT company where actually it was still current because they hadn't switched yet doing their SharePoint transitions felt it was going really slow and there was a lot of confusion and call them back later. And when I asked specifically about a problem, as opposed to the, Hey, reaching out drip campaign stuff, they actually said, Oh yeah, that still isn't going well. Do you think you can help with that? Sure can. And he right. landed the client. It turns out all that market automation tool they was paying for did nothing for him, but the actual personalized phone call, the contact engagement with them mm -hmm. paid off. And it's as simple as that. I have engaged with companies who've taken the time to say, hey, Tom, I see you're on YouTube and I watched your video on this. And I think I can help you with this thing. That's how we've actually had people engage with me and actually get my attention. Although I I'd left, I was showing Brett all the garbage LinkedIn messages I get from automation, send yeah. you know connection requests on LinkedIn, instant, hey, we can help you with your WordPress. We can help you this. Uh, one of them the other day, they messaged me. It was two fifty nine, and I responded at three hundred one, and they said replied to me. Basically, it was a, another. We can help you with your marketing. And am I looking for someone to help me with certain aspects of marketing? Maybe shirt design or something like that. Sure. Do you know what zero people have reached out to me for like, with actual? I can help you. Or here's an idea. I can help you. I have one one person reached out, and they weren't. And they, I don't think they were a good fit. So that's where that ended. But at least they reached out, and I kept an engagement with them. Right. Um, this. Yeah, I, I want to rant on this topic sometimes, but uh, you see I have the same a perfect thing, right? Example Brent? on LinkedIn. So when you when you think about what what happened, I have a ton of connections on LinkedIn, like you too. And it, and and I one day I got six people that sent me the exact same message, exact same message, and I just ignored it. And then again, those same six people, almost in the sync time, same time frame, sent me the exact same message again. I then responded to each and every one of them with a personal message about, I don't think I need your products. We've got this, this, and this, and there. Only one re-reached out with an actual personal message with, I'm glad things are going well. If you ever need my assistance, let me know. Guess who I'll reach out to if I ever need their assistance? Is that one out of six people yeah. want that personal touch? in some way, shape, or form. We don't want to be a number. We don't want to be automated against. Yeah, this is just this is something that drives me crazy. It's so easy to find information about people. Yeah. It's so easy to just look at their business, look at some of their social mm -hmm. media posts, get a little bit of a feel for who that person is. It's not like it's hard at all. It's so easy to do. And you get that more personal message, figure out what their yeah. real issues are, and actually engage or talk to them. And 
even some of the, the these people selling these the ultimate script that will get it for you. Of course, what's their they're telling you it works, but what's their bias? Well, they're selling you the ultimate script. Right. That's part of the problem where they're selling you a training course on, you know, how to do this. I mean, you still have to be personal. You still have to talk to people. That's really where you'll get your leads. You'll get your connections. It's as simple as that. There's not any type of auto magical lead generation automation system that is out there that I have ever seen that does the personalization. Maybe, maybe in the future, someone will mm -hmm. create some type of artificial real, not just the slap on the BS word AI, but a real AI system that does uh, open source intelligence and understands someone's problems and then gets there. But I have not seen that system yet. So That's I'm going to leave you with the marketing automation is being oversold to you probably by someone selling you on the idea of the market automation. Take the time to personalize it. Take the time to learn about the client yes. and do your job as a problem solver. And you'll find Absolutely. they want to hire you as a problem solver, as opposed to someone sending an automated campaign drip campaign that just sends out, Hey, just wondering if you had a chance to read the blah, blah, blah. I sent you in a very generic way. <laughs> Nothing ever beats personal touch and personalizing something. Nothing beats that. You turn yep. somebody into a computer number, they're going to just, they're just going to feel it. <laughs> I yeah. feel it. I feel it all the time. There's so much. Yeah. In my spam box is mostly those people now. They never get to talk to me again because I, I check my spam box every other day. Mm -hmm. And usually once they're in there, I'm like, oh, that's right. They put me on a drip campaign. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. All right. Blah. Thanks. <laughs> that's it. That's all I got to say about this or I'll go ranting more about nothing. Thanks. This could be a long one. <laughs> yeah.